morning welcome to the vlog and welcome to my sunday reset if you watched yesterday's until the end you would have seen that i ha i planned today to sort my life out i was gonna get back on my 6 a.m grind shock horror i did not get up at 6 a.m i stayed up editing too late and then i was like ha that's not happening but i am up i've done all of the like admin things that i need to do for the day so i literally do not need to go back on my laptop all day i literally 28 seconds ago finished working out and i'm off to go and have the big shower wash my hair and this evening i'm going out for a roast with my friends so i'm really excited and it's a sunny day really couldn't get better so if you like these vlogs give it a thumbs up i also spoke in yesterday's vlog about how long i'm planning to vlog for and literally my plan for the rest of the year so if you haven't seen that that's in yesterday's vlog but i'm gonna go and shower because i'm not looking too fresh right now my hair is finally feeling like it doesn't have that horrible film on it from that hair mask that i put on i mean it still doesn't feel 100 percent back to normal but it definitely feels better but you can probably see from my face i don't even know if you can see i have just literally waxed my entire face i've been having a few days where i've just not been feeling very good about myself just like i keep looking in the mirror and going to get ready and be like i just don't really feel very pretty today and i want to feel good about myself so today we're gonna get dressed properly we're gonna do my makeup i've literally waxed my entire face we have fresh hair like i'm not gonna beat myself up about it but yeah i don't really know why i think it was the hair thing to be honest but yeah it's just not a nice way to feel is it it feels like this side of my hair is back to normal but this side there's definitely still a film i mean to be honest i could probably just put it in a side part and i'd be fine but it's just not how i wear my hair also how cute is my little robe i really wish she did this in adult size but it just looks like a mini robe to be honest it's absolutely fine but i would like it for length but it's just the cutest pattern i'm such a sucker for anything ditzy it's making me feel very happy there's some serious kitchen organization going on in here so i've just put my jam jars and these other jars in here as well well, and I just think it looks really really organized and I actually know where everything is I can see pretty much everything which is such a huge thing and then down the bottom I have my Le Creuset and my Mason cash bowls so I think it's looking pretty good and also my plan for if this starts to kind of overflow is to remove everything that's not pink basically so all of my white Le Creuset my red Le Creuset that can be put somewhere else because that is seasonal whereas all of this I use all year round so let me know what you think could this be organized any better what would you do what would you change I just I think it looks really good to be honest and to everyone telling me that I need to take everything out of boxes I know you're right I just don't know how I'm supposed to keep everything together like all the bits and bobs because I obviously have like I don't know my this isn't in a box this is my Nutribullet and there's all my Nutribullet bits but like I don't want to get confused and forget what's what so yeah any suggestions would be great someone said like baskets and that's actually not a bad idea really I just need to make sure they're stackable and then I've obviously still got the baby shelf at the top for all my ramekins and things I just think that's such a good use of space tomorrow I have quite a busy out and about day like when I leave the house in the morning I'm not going to get back until uh probably like 7 p.m so it's going to be like an all out and about day tomorrow i'm actually going to the restoration hardware outlet didn't know this existed literally found out the other day and it's right near where i need to go in the morning for well not right near but like you know relatively near where i need to go in the morning for my job so i was like oh, i'll do that and then i was talking to one of my friends and i was like do you want to go and she was like heck yes actually she does need to come over because she needs to come and see the house and she keeps saying when am i coming uh, but we're doing this together today and then maybe towards the end of next week I'll do something and like cook a dinner or something lovely But yeah, I'm very excited to go to RH outlet and I'm excited to see her and then I'm actually test driving a different car tomorrow Which is going to be scary. I find test driving cars really really scary. I don't know why but we'll see what I think They're letting me take it out for like half a day i just don't get the whole like yeah you can drive it around the block how do i know what it feels like if i just drive it around the block i am so excited about this coffee someone asked me what i think to my ember cup and what i still recommend it um 100 if you're going to use it so if you're not gonna like make it part of your daily routine it will just sit in the cupboard but for me i keep the dock out i literally as soon as i finish my cup i wash it up i put it on here and then it's ready for the next time so yeah if you're actually going to use it and integrate it it is so worth it and it's one of those things in my life that if it broke i would order a new one immediately so i thought we'd have a bit of a try on whilst i'm just sorting through and finally finishing up the job of clearing out my dressing room and firstly i have these jeans which are the ones i showed you yesterday so they're the levi's 501s now i really like them i do think i need to size down just because of like 
this but other than that the length is literally perfect and they're really soft denim like they're not going to take any wearing in but what i think i'm going to do is order a size down but keep these for now so i can just do a bit of a comparison and also every pair of levi's that you order are slightly different so it might be that i just got lucky with these that these are long but they're so soft so comfy but can you just tell they're just too big next up i got these now these are supposed to fit more like my black ones that i have and they're really nice i just i don't know what it is with this color denim but always the denim just seems to feel a bit strange i like them but i don't love them but i also don't own a pair of jeans in this wash and i do really feel like i'm lacking them in my wardrobe but let me know what you think i mean it's definitely more of an autumnal color but i don't think i need to keep these ones and the other ones so let me know which ones do i wait and get the other size and then have a try on when i have everything this is why the jeans thing is so crazy these jeans that i have on now are the same style and the same size as the first ones i showed you but look how these fit they're literally tight that, that is just so crazy to me i mean i do not like how these fit they're too short i know they're gonna stretch and they're not like quite tight enough so yeah i mean how crazy though that these are exactly the same style and exactly the same size as the first pair i'm like i wonder if i pull them down to be a bit like longer they still look weird but isn't that crazy <gasps> We have a win. I got this cardigan. This is Amazon fashion. It's the softest thing and I love the color. I don't know if you've noticed, but this year I've been kind of going for these kind of more taupey tones and not anything too crazy warm. I adore this. This is honestly so nice. Don't know what size I got. I'll put down in the description box because I really do like how this fits, but I might actually wear this to dinner tonight. This feels like a very Sunday roasty cardigan, but I don't know what I'm going to wear. I'm actually meeting Em and Matt at Harrods first, and we're going to go for a little mooch around Harrods and then walk to dinner. I really like this. Oh my goodness. How much better does this look? So I've taken all the extra hangers off and just distributed my knitwear. And now look, well, actually I have hung up some other ones. I was going to say now it looks completely full my trousers i have a couple of bits to try on and then yeah everything else is emptied and sorted isn't it crazy like these are all my dresses i yeah sorted through a bunch of things so they will all be on depop in the coming week but these are my coats and i'm just well i need to sort these but i am just so happy with how it looks it just looks so tidy and there's just not stuff everywhere it's amazing but this is what i've been waiting to do this was put on just for when we were taking things up and down the stairs and the movers were but it makes my house look like i'm still moving so i've been waiting for this moment so i need to start getting ready in literally five minutes but i thought we would put my spaghetti away i'm doing the spaghetti that em got me because the only one yeah just checking is gonna fit is the only one i have and this won't stand up in the pantry cupboard so it makes more sense to put it in here. Yay! Cute. I'm going to empty the rest of these into this baby little kilner jar. I could use the larger one, but I don't think there's that many. And the biscuit box doesn't seal because I ripped the end off. So I just need them. I should really unravel them, but then I'm not gonna know what they are. Oh, and see, now I wanna put the other ones in. Oh no, I'm gonna unwrap them. It can be a surprise. And if someone gets the orange cream, then I will give them full permission to put it in the bin because they're disgusting. <laughs> Joking. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. It's the Marks and Spencer's selection box of biscuits. This is like the bougiest biscuit tin I've ever seen. I actually have far more biscuits than I thought I did. So I'm going to put the shortbread part in there. Oh no, they're not chocolatey. Maybe I'm do chocolate biscuits. Yeah, I'm just going to do the chocolate ones. So these are the ginger ones. I've been wanting to open these, so it's a good excuse. These look amazing. Mm -mm -mm. And then, of course, taking pride of place on top because otherwise I'd be fishing for them. We have the Marks and Spencer's chocolate rounds. If you don't know, get to know. And if you do know, then we're on the same page. It's time to get ready for dinner. Now, I think I'm just going to do like a super cozy jeans and cardigan combo. But I don't know what shoes to wear. Maybe I might even go super casual and just do like my new balance trainers. Because then I can keep this on and I'll just put a trench coat over and then it will look more dressy. Okay, mm -hmm. Guys, all the Christmas things are in. Look at the little bear. Oh my goodness, it's a snowman. Oh my gosh, these are literally Em's favorite things, little smart things. Em. Oh, 
yum. Christmas spiced coffee. I wish they had, oh, Christmas spiced black tea. This is ground. If they had the beans, I so would have got that. Brandy butter. Oh my goodness. This is getting me so hyped. And I love the packaging this year. No, stop it. Cranberry sauce. What else do we have? Spiced Christmas mustard. You guys have just come along to Ladderack and look, this is my favorite thing ever, the milk chocolate bites. They're like cornflake bites. I also love the Florentines. I mean, honestly, it's all good. It's chocolate, isn't it? But I'm really interested to see, whoa, have they got the advent calendars? Oh, stop it. Oh, but I am a little bit tempted about that. Oh my gosh, look at the huge one. Um, I kind of want that. Hello, hello, I'm home. And honestly, that was probably the best roast dinner I've had in, well, a long time. I haven't had a roast dinner in a long time, but we went to the Hunter's Moon and I've been there before, but not for like three years. It's been a really long time, but I did pick up some bits from Harrods. So I will show you the downstairs, but I need to get my shoes off because I don't want to be walking around the house in shoes. But it was just a really lovely girly dinner in the end. But we had to wait a little bit for the table. We booked like six and the table wasn't ready until 6.20 probably. I would say by the time we got kind of like sat and they were mortified like they were genuinely mortified they brought over champagne and I obviously it's not really my thing but I was like that's so kind and yeah they were just like mortified that we'd had to wait for 20 minutes and I was like it's really not that deep like how many restaurants you go to and the table's late and they're just like yeah it's late <laughs> like you just have to wait but it was just, I don't know, it was really, it was really nice. This is my little Harrods haul. So I popped in to go and get, you know, I have that French Connection dress that I said, I really like it. This is in like my closet clear out the other day, but it just is not flattering. I saw there was a Skims version. So I was like, ooh, I'll go and try the Skims version on. And they didn't have it, but they did have another of the dresses that I wanted to get. Oh, <laughs> and on route home, I bought some dates because I'm going to make some stuffed dates. I don't think I'm going to do that tonight because I'm trying to go to bed earlier because I have to get on with my day tomorrow because I have a full day. Like, like literally my day is planned out in like 15 minute increments because I have so much to pack in, but it's fine. It's a fun day. Like the vlog's still gonna be really fun tomorrow. I just have to be at certain places at certain times. So no room for error. So yeah, I went in to go and find that dress and I actually don't think I like how they felt anyway. They were a bit kind of loungewear feeling, but what I did like, I saw this in there the other day, didn't buy it and then went away and thought about it. And it is this dress. Now, hope it fits they didn't have an extra extra small they only had an extra small but it actually looks looks fine i mean i'll be shocked if it doesn't fit me but i was envisioning this with my platform docks and just like a cute jacket i just thought that would be so perfect for autumn winter and it's something that it's a little grungy because of the color but it's still like girly i just really like dresses like this so i thought that would be perfect and then i also picked up this t-shirt in the color bone i really wanted like a creamy t-shirt that would match that skirt that i got from mango that i still haven't tried on with you i'll try it on tomorrow morning but i thought this was perfect and then I got this brown bralette. I have this in black and I love it. But I really wanted the brown one to wear under things where you can like kind of see it. And then I just got a pair of underwear to match that. But if you've never tried these bralettes, they are just the softest and coziest material. I was a bit of a skim skeptic to start off with. I'm pretty sure I did a haul where I tried them on years ago. And I was very much like, eh. It's not that exciting, but I think as they've really kind of discovered themselves as a brand and stuck to what they're really good at, which is that really kind of soft, supportive loungewear, I was keen to buy in again. Also, my Adenola top that I love, that's literally this in grey, but Adenola, they just always sold out and I really wanted the beige one, like the cream one, I guess. And I've waited for so long and it's still not come back in stock, literally a year. I, I ordered it and my order got cancelled, so... Yeah, I thought I would try something different. These don't feel as like supportive as the Adenola ones, but who knows, I haven't tried it on yet. I think this is an extra small, yeah. Oh, now I'm looking at the dates. I really want one. Oh, and if you notice, the nails are off. I had to take them off. This index finger came off and then this one came off and I was just like, no, I cannot have two fingers without nail polish on them. So I took them all off, which is really bad for my nails, but I'm gonna give it a couple weeks and then I will get my gels put back on, but not yet. We're just not gonna look. So I thought we'd have a bit of a try on. This is the top. Now it fits really nicely, but I definitely think if I had the option of the smaller size, I probably would have picked it just because there's a bit of like excess fabric here and it's not like tight, tight, but I really like it. It's super soft, love the color. And to be honest, if I did get the smaller size, it probably would have been a little bit see-through. But I really like this and it's so soft. <gasps> Even after a roast dinner, I feel amazing in this. Uh, ignore my VPL. I have a literal like Calvin Klein underwear.
underwear on and obviously you can see them through everything but they're very comfortable but this is the dress i honestly feel a million dollars in this and i have nothing to say it's a win i'm so glad it fits it feels amazing this honestly fits like a glove and i'm just a very big fan so i'm just trying to get my things together for the morning so i don't have to do it tomorrow and i would love to know what is your like go-to bag for a day out i think i'm going to take my Le Pliage, just because i need to take my laptop and my camera and i know they both fit in here but then i'm like should i take a backpack but then i feel like as soon as you take a backpack you're like instantly overloaded i feel like everything that i would normally take out with me for the day is actually in my goyard because i traveled oh this is perfect i can literally just but then this is heavy isn't it i'm like what is actually essential this bag is full of rubbish my boarding pass toothpaste don't know why that's in there okay well i'm gonna take a fragrance with me this is Jo malone highland heather i love that and then is it gonna be a sunny day do i need sunglasses i feel like i am gonna take them because it's when you choose not to take those things that you need them i've got hand sanitizer lip balm actually no i have lip balm in my house keys tissues I'm going to take a hair clip now my powder is my little powder puff in there if so yes perfect straight in it goes lens cap that would be helpful and then where's my bag from today see nothing really has well it does have a home but not a home home and then what do we have in here that i could possibly need i didn't even take my cards out with me tonight thank goodness i have everything on my phone um this is literally just repeats of what's in that bag got some gum okay yeah i definitely need to have a day where i clear my bags out <laughs> i would usually plan my outfit because i've got quite an early one but honestly the weather just looks so iffy tomorrow that i don't actually know how it's going to be so i'm going to wait until i wake up i think it might be like a well i don't want to wear jeans because i never feel very like dressed up in jeans but at the same time it does feel like tomorrow's going to be a jeans day i could wear my black trousers but i want to wear trainers and the temperature's going down tomorrow so i don't really want to wear like anything like bare legged without tights and I'm not gonna do tights and trainers. Now for me, I think the conclusion is that I need a new pair of black jeans that aren't like, do you, you know when jeans are right and when they're wrong? I could wear my long, I could wear my black low waist jeans with a jumper and a blazer or a jumper and a trench coat. See, this is where I get to and I get stuck and I'm like, I don't wanna try anything on right now and I'm not gonna figure it out until I try it on. So let's just go and shower. I love my little skincare moments at the end of the vlog. I feel like I haven't done one for a few days. So I currently have a spot, which I actually have had really clear skin for quite a while, but I have one here and I've got a pixie spot sticker on it actually but my skin just needs hydration i'm almost out of this la roche posay product which is super hydrating so i'm gonna pop some of this on i mean today was just about giving myself a little bit of love and like prepping myself for the week ahead and i feel like i really did that but in kind of multiple aspects oh i love this by the way this aborian uh what's this called it's like their night oil but you shake it and it's just oh it's so nice yeah, I feel like I socially filled my cup today. I physically filled my cup today. And now I am self-care filling my cup today. I'm really excited for tomorrow. It's going to be such a good day. I'm so intrigued to see what the RH outlet is like. I think it's like super new. Someone was saying to me they literally have vases and things for like £20. But I don't know. I don't know like what to expect. I'm surprised they've even got things like to put in an outlet yet because it's such a new store in the UK. I'll link below my RH vlog when mum and I went to Ainho. I really, really like their stuff, but it's all quite chunky. So I can't really fit much of it in my house because I don't have the room. It's definitely built for like grand large homes and I guess like US homes where there's just more space. I'm just gonna spray some sleep spray. But this is my finished skin for bed. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. I hope you enjoyed. I am so excited for tomorrow. I'm really excited to see Lucy as well. I don't know if I actually told you that's who I'm going to see. I'm going to see Lucy and I can't wait and I really want her to come over and see the house and everything but it's just gonna be nice to like spend some time with her and see her. We always like chat each other's ears off to the point where we like need to see each other a few days later just to actually spend some present time together and not spend the time like catching up so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did and you made it this far you gotta give us a thumbs up and i will see you bright and early in the morning good night